welcome to oops easy mind easy life i'm holly bell that was too close <laughs> okay so so many messages have come through this week to share with you and for some reason this morning i was just scrolling through all my old videos because it's been a while i started them like five years ago and at the time there were just so many messages coming through and for many of them I would sit down and I had no idea what I was going to talk about. Um, <laughs> I would just introduce it and then all of a sudden, you know, the idea was there, the message was there that wanted to come through. And so, um, yeah, it's been quite a journey. But going through some of the old messages, um, so many of them are just still relevant today. And there was one, it's just been bubbling, you know, in the back of my mind for a few days. And it was the one about the bully and how we see ourselves. And so just to recap and go through that um, process, because uh, there's, as you step into more and more love and more and more awareness, you see the bigger picture, you know, more. It becomes clearer what the bigger picture actually is. And so there's a few videos back there that talk about, I was a prime candidate for bullying, right? Me. When I go back to my childhood years, I used to have, whenever I had long hair, because my hair's so thick and so heavy, if I had it tied up, it would I would end up with a headache at the end of the day, right? Especially because my mum used to tie it up so tight. <laughs> so it would still be tied up, you know, by the end of the day. And I would get home and my head would just hurt. And so eventually I'd end up with these really short haircuts. So I'd look like a boy in the end, right? And um, so I'm just painting a mental picture of my primary school years, right? Up until the age of 12. So for most of those years, I had very short hair, right? Just to avoid the whole having to tie it up and the heaviness, the weight of my hair. And then by the time I was 10 years old, I was already wearing glasses because I couldn't see. And in those days, it wasn't cool to wear glasses, right? Nobody was wearing glasses at school. I was pretty much one of the only ones. Um, I can't remember anyone else. You know, looking at all the other kids in the, in the classes, I can't remember anyone, apart from teachers wearing glasses, I don't remember anyone else wearing glasses. And my teeth were super crooked, right? The teeth that were coming in, um, they just didn't have enough room and they were all piled up on top of each other. So I had those three things going for me. <laughs> this was just in primary school, right? And I remember one day creating a video when I first started with the Your Past is a Gift videos, right? And because that was the first book, that's all the information I had at the time, right? When I started creating the videos. And um, I remember thinking, but wait a minute, you know, um, I had short hair that I looked like a boy. I had all these crooked teeth all piled up on top of each other. And I was wearing glasses, right? By the time I was in year five, I was 10. Yes, in year five. Beginning of year five, I was already wearing glasses. And before that, I probably would have been squinting a lot because I couldn't see properly. <laughs> but we didn't know what was going on until, of course, we went to the optometrist. And looking back, I think, wow, I was a prime candidate for being bullied, right? Um, because I really stood out compared to all the other girls. They had long hair, they had it tied up nicely. You know, they all had fair skin as well. Um, all these Aussie girls, right? And I was one of the few that had dark hair in those days and dark eyes. And in the summer, I was always in the sun. So I was quite tanned. I was this beautiful olive brown color. Uh, I just looked so different to all the other kids. And, you know, one day I was making a video and it was about, I'd been doing a few videos on bullies and bullying, you know, and the dynamics of it. And then one day I just sat there and I thought, wow, I should have been bullied, you know, for being so, so, so different. I mean, there were so many things different about me on the outside compared to everyone else that I should have been bullied. And then one day I found myself sitting there thinking, why wasn't I bullied? You know, what was so special about me that I wasn't? 
while all the others were because I had lots of cousins in other schools. Then I found out much later in my adult years that they were bullied at their school for being different. And I'm thinking, but I'm no different to them. So why did I have a completely different experience to them? Not only that, but I had crooked teeth and I had glasses, which none of them had glasses, right? They, they were, all they had was they had, you know, different color skin because we're darker skinned, um, have more olive skin in the summer. And in the winter, I tend to go a bit more pale. So I don't look that olive at the moment, but I do tend to go really dark in the summer. And, you know, uh, they just had dark brown hair and dark brown eyes, just like me. You know, we're all the same. We all look similar. And they were being picked on for being different. And I thought, wow, wait, wait, um, there's something important happening here. And I just haven't uh, found the connection yet. I hadn't. But through the videos, I actually worked it out. And today I wanted to share that. Not only that, but take it to the next level of what that's all about as well. So, because it's not what we think it is. And there's going to be quite a few videos about this today. It's not what we think it is. What's actually happening goes down a lot deeper into us, into what we're focusing on, into what we're looking at when we're in the world, when we're interacting with the world. Oh, so much to talk about today. But this is where we're starting from today right why wasn't I bullied when all of my cousins were being bullied and I had a lot more going on <laughs> for others to be picking on me but why wasn't I and uh, a, a light bulb went off in my head I was at the gym I would have been in my early 20s and this guy comes I'm on the treadmill right I'm doing my, my, my I'm walking on the treadmill because I'm not much of a jogger I've never had to do the jog thing properly and this um, young guy walks up to me and he says, I know you. And I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> he said, you were school captain at, you know, the school that we went to. And I was like, yeah. I couldn't for the life of me remember him. Um, and there'll be more about this in later videos. The videos progress as well as to why. It'll all make sense. And he was telling me that um, they all admired me because I was the same background as them, right? We were all from South American immigrants that had come to Australia, but I had actually become school captain, you know? And like, there was so much going on in my life. Um, and they admired me because I wasn't picked on. Like I was so different to them and their what they were experiencing, you know? And so they looked up to me because I was that, you know, that one person that, oh, we could be that, you know? <laughs> and not be picked on and not be um, bullied as less or different, you know? So, uh, yeah, lots to talk about in the videos to follow. But for now, just think about that. Think about what were you thinking about or what were you focusing on when you were at school, especially if you were one of these people that was bullied, okay? If you were being bullied when you were at school, I want you to really, really sit with yourself today and really focus on what was I thinking? What were my primary thoughts at the time? What was I focusing on? And we're gonna talk more about this in the next video. This is super important because it's not just about um, addressing the bullying, but everything in life. That's just one thing that happened. But everything in life is the same after that. It's all about what we are focusing on. Okay, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.